Hey there, boils and ghouls. It's your friend Taryn Taz, and I'm back with another video. And uh, you probably heard me say it when I did my last um, video, but uh, today we're going to talk about the release, the 4K Blu-ray release of Halloween Kills, the extended cut with the alternate ending. And um, I'm going to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually the first time I watched this movie. I didn't see it in theaters. I didn't have a chance to stream it on Peacock. Today is the first day that, you know, I got to see it, and overall, I really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was pretty good. And um, I will say, though, after comparing the uh, the extended cut to the theatrical cut, I could understand why, you know, there were people out there who they were probably not really impressed with, you know, the movie when it came out. And to them, I would say, you know, if you ever decide you want to give it another chance, then maybe go ahead and you know, check out the extended cut, because when I watched the theatrical cut, you know, I thought it was like, oh, okay, it, you know, I mean, all right, it is what it is, but then when I watched the extended cut, <clears throat> unfortunately, the extended cut doesn't give you much, you know, now, okay, the theatrical cut is one hour and 45 minutes long, the extended cut is one hour and 49 minutes long, which means that the movie is, you know, give or take, it's four minutes, um, more than the theatrical release. Now, um, the thing is, is if you're going into this hoping that the kills are going to be a lot bloodier, which I have to admit, I was surprised how graphic the killings were. I knew there were a lot of them. I just didn't know how graphic they were going to get. But um, if you're kind of really hoping that, you know, that there's going to be a lot more and, and you know, you're going to see more that you didn't see, um, to be, I'm going to have to let you down on that one. In terms of that, it's pretty much what you see in the theatrical release. The extra four minutes pretty much more kind of goes more into like character building moments and kind of more like, you know, dialogue exposition, you know, creating the, you know, kind of expanding the world of the movie. And that's kind of more where it goes into. But um, one thing I really do enjoy, though, is the uh, the alternate ending, which, you know, I think that was the thing, you know, like the, the ending of the theatrical movie was kind of a letdown, you know, it was just kind of like, okay, yeah, all right. But when you watch the alternate ending um, on the extended cut, it, it kind of gets you pumped. I mean, we already know, you know, we're Halloween fans, you know, I'm, I'm assuming you are if you're watching this video. We're Halloween fans. We all know that this is the second part in the trilogy, okay? And we know that, you know, there's a third movie coming out this year, Halloween Ends. And so the alternate ending on this kind of gets you a little more pumped up, kind of gets you a little more ready, a little more psyched, you know, to see the conclusion of this trilogy. And I, I agree with a lot of Halloween fans. You know, if we get done with this, if this is like the Laurie Strode trilogy, how about after this? I mean, we know the movies are going to do well, you know, so they're going to continue to want to make more of them. I agree with most Halloween fans. Why don't we go back and get Danielle Harris back and we do a Jamie Lloyd trilogy? That'd be pretty sweet. I'd go see that, so get Danielle Harris, her fighting off against Michael Myers again, I'd watch that. Anyway, so, um, yeah, but uh, I would say, if you saw the theatrical release and you're not a fan of it, I would definitely say, you know what, maybe give the extended cut a chance and see if that might kind of, you know, change your mind a little bit. If it doesn't, hey, okay. So anyway, so this is the 4K Blu-ray release, and uh, here we go, beautiful embossed slipcover. I really like that. It looks... That is a really nice slip cover. There's the front, and there's the back. And we get some good bonus features on here, too, which I was surprised of. You know one thing? Okay, the movie actually has a commentary with director, co-writer David Gordon Green and stars Jamie Lee Curtis and Judy Greer. That surprised me. I mean, how many... Think about it. You don't really see too many modern movies. No matter what genre, you don't really see too many modern movies these days getting physical releases that actually include commentary. And so, and it's always fun, you know, it's like, you know, I thought the commentary was pretty interesting to listen to. You know, it's always fun to listen to Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, so she, you know, she just makes it, you know, all the best. But yeah, I was actually surprised. We actually get a commentary on this, so I thought that was pretty sweet. We also get a gag reel, deleted and extended scenes, Halloween's Open Wounds, the Kill Team, The Strode Family Values, 1978 Transformations, which I have to admit, I was pretty impressed by. They did a good job, you know, recreating, you know, kind of the world of the 1978 movie for the most part. I thought they did a good job with it. 
the power of fear and kill count and then the commentary so yeah not a bad release i will say if at some point one of the boutique companies see i could see like down the road maybe like a screen factory you know they might decide you know if they decide they're going to do 4ks of you know they already did one through five if they decide to do the rest you know you never know screen factory at some point could possibly do a 4k release of this at some point but even if they did, I don't know if they'd be able, in terms of bonus features, I don't know if they'd be able to add too much more than what's already on there. But, but uh, yeah. But, I mean, we got some good, you know, Universal actually did a good job on this release. We got a good, decent amount of bonus features, at least, you know, the kind you'd really be interested in, deleted and extended scenes and things like that. So, okay, so we take that off, and it's similar, big surprise. Then... Actually, yeah, that's the only thing that's different, because look at the back of the slipcover. So that's kind of cool. So there you go. So there's a little bit of a difference there. Oh, real quick, uh, for the um, for the digital code aficionados, uh, you know, if you do get the, uh, I know I keep saying this, but, you know, I just kind of feel like in a little bit of a way it bears repeating, but if you get the digital code for the 4K Blu-ray, you should be able to, you know, get the movie in 4K. That's what happened when I redeemed my code. So we should be good on that. So anyway, so we open it up. And there are discs. There is the Blu-ray. There's the 4K. And uh, I got to admit, you know, in terms of uh, picture quality and sound quality, the sound quality on the 4K is amazing. You know, you do get, you know, you get, uh, let's see, where is it at? Okay. You get SDS. Oh, no, wait. Uh, where's it at? Come on. Hmm. Yeah, you do get Dolby Atmos, you get Dolby Vision, I'm sorry. And, uh, you know, you do get high dynamic range on the picture quality. I just have to say, though, you know, I mean, just in terms of the picture quality, um, it looks fine. The 4K looks good, but I would just not say that it's, you know, if you ended up just getting the standard Blu-ray release, you'd be all right with that. Um, it's the, the 4K is just barely sharper than the Blu-ray, not by much. Um, the 4K is good to have because, you know, it brings up the darkness levels. And this is a movie that pretty much takes place at night. A lot of dark scenes, a lot of scenes, you know, inside dark houses, you know, complete nighttime scenes and everything else. So, you know, it's good. And it looks fine, and it's definitely watchable. You can see a lot of good crisp detail in it. And uh, But I would say, you know, even if you ended up just getting the standard Blu-ray, you're good. You know, the picture quality is still really sound on it. And if you get, even if you got the standard Blu-ray and you got, you know, a good player that will upscale your image and you got a good 4K TV, it'll look perfectly fine. And the sound is really good. Uh, the one thing I was really pumped for was listening to John Carpenter's fantastic score. John Carpenter, Cody Carpenter, and uh, who is the other one who did the... Uh, John Carpenter, Cody Carpenter, Daniel Davies. I'm sorry. But yeah, it looks amazing. It sounds amazing. It's really good. You could tell, you know, I think because this movie was a big box... Well, kind of a big box office hit, that uh, you could tell. They really put the energy into making a good release out of this, and it shows. And this is a good stellar release, and I would highly recommend picking this up. So, but then again, too, I do know that this movie kind of got, it kind of got a little bit pooped on, and I know there are a lot of people who are not fans of this movie, but, uh, you know, I'm a Halloween nut, so I knew I was going to buy this no matter what, and I knew I was going to watch it. I just wasn't really sure if I was going to like it or not. So I would say, yeah, I really enjoyed this movie, and, um, you know, just in my opinion, like, this is just my opinion, okay? But in my opinion, probably the worst Halloween movie in the entire series, in my opinion. I know everybody would say Resurrection, right? It's like, eh, Resurrection was really bad, but I mean, you know, you get past the first 10 minutes of it, there's still some elements to that movie that I enjoy. Hell, there are even elements I enjoy to the Rob Zombie Halloween movies. But uh, no. In my opinion, the absolute worst Halloween movie has to be uh, Curse of Michael Myers. I'm sorry, that's just my opinion. So, but overall, yeah, uh, I would definitely say go ahead and pick up Halloween Kills on 4K if you're a fan of the movie. And like I said, if you're not a fan, maybe you can get a hold of the code. You could watch it on Vudu and, and check out the extended cut, see if it might change your mind a little bit. 
or maybe if you have friends and family, if they end up picking it up and you want to, you know, just curiosity's sake, see if it's any better. In my opinion, yeah, the the um, the extended cut is a little bit better. Like I said, it's not better in terms of blood or gore. So if you're going in thinking it, the kills are going to be out more outrageous than what they already are, not by much. Um, it's pretty much just what you've already seen in the theatrical version and in the trailer and stuff like that. It's really nothing different. Mostly it's the, um, yeah, mostly it's just going to be the alternate ending, you know, where it's the same ending as the movie, but it goes a little bit further. And then maybe kind of like a little couple of character moments and things like that, but that's pretty much about it. So, but anyway, that's going to do it. So yeah, Halloween Kills. I'm glad I bought it. Glad I finally had the chance to see it. And just my opinion, yeah, I actually prefer the extended cut over the uh, theatrical cut, so. Anyway, so that's going to do it. So if uh, anybody took the time to watch this video, I thank you for doing it, and I appreciate you for doing it. I honestly hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a like. If you haven't already, go and subscribe to my channel. There's going to be plenty more coming, and, you know, we got, oh, man, just by hearing all the rumors, we got some really good 4K Blu-ray reviews coming up this year, and so hopefully we're going to get some good content out. So that's it, everybody. Take care of my boils and ghouls, and I'll see you later. Good night.